Okay, this is Linda Harris, and I'm doing a video evaluation of what looks to be like a Shetland Ponies foundered feet. And uh, this pony belongs to Jennifer Kane, and she has had uh, several people working on this pony. And just recently, she tried to work on herself. It's really hard once they get in this shape to find somebody that knows really what's going on you can't fix it if you don't know what's going on okay and from what i have found and discovered um with most people that work with laminitis even the ones that do a really good job is that there's still very little explanation of what is really 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 going on so i'm going to show you what's really going on and then then you're going to see that it's really difficult a lot of times once this process really gets going to change it unless you do some drastic things to the hoof capsule to get rid of the distortion and and try to get it growing correctly again okay so here you see the pony's feet as you see you know the heel has been taken down that would be the seem to be the thing to do i understand that Okay, because, just a second here, we'll just do this, okay, because her foot was like this, I'm sure, so she's standing up on her toe, so it seems the normal thing to do would be to take this heel down here. But what I'm going to show you is that isn't the thing to do and that a lot of times the reason they get so rotated over and over again is because people keep taking the heel down. And this actually causes them to rotate continually. Because the problem is in the heel for sure, but it's also right here in the dorsal wall. Once this gets to growing like this, you can see, see the growth rings? Okay, you see how they're squeezed together here like an accordion? See? See there? Once this toe starts curling up like that, you have some real problems. So, let's see here. Let's take a look at the pony. Okay, pretty, pretty little thing. You know, looks loud, like a little Shetland pony. Back feet don't look quite as bad as the front here. You can see uh, that she is uh, standing on her tippy toes there. Okay, even without the heel there. Okay, that's because of the way that capsule is now attached um, and distorted and being pulled away from um, the inner foot, which I'll show you. Okay, let's just take a look at some of these. Just a second here. Okay, first thing I want you to notice here, periopal skin. Clear down to here. Look at that. See, if this hair wasn't here, you, this is all periopal skin. Right here. Should not be that way. This shows you that the heel is totally trimmed out of this pony. And that the periopal skin is stretched clear down here. That's just not right. Okay. As Here's the picture again. As you can see, she don't want to set her foot down. Look at her short pastern here. Or is that the long? Whatever that is. Look at her ankle. See how she wants to stand on her toes even though she's taking the heel down? see p3 p2 p1 in here somewhere okay i'll have to cut that out or you'll know i don't know what the hell i'm talking about hey this is the part of the foot i i study right here this thing you know once it gets to going up here i don't know what to tell you you know it's been enough for me to study this thing i know you got p1 p2 p3 which is um, P3, the coffin bone. P2, the short pastern bone. P1, the long pastern bone. Okay. 
All right, so uh, where was I going at? Okay, all right. Now here you can see that the dorsal wall is truly a mess. See, any growth that it has is pushing the foot back. Okay, see there, that is just not good looking growth at all. It just totally looks dead. Okay, um, see there how the, the pony does not want to put its heel down? That's because as it puts the heel down, it's prying the toe of the hoof capsule off. Because there is no hoof capsule here, the heel is totally trimmed out. Okay, and as you can see here, there's no wall up here. Where is the wall even growing? It, it's not. It's totally congested and dead up there. Okay. All right. Uh, now what am I going to do? All right. So now I'm going to take you into this program here thing I made. And we're going to look at why this pony's foot is the way it is. Okay, here I have, let's see, let me move this. What I have here, okay, here's that pony's foot. Okay, you see the coronary band here on her foot? That's where the hoof capsule grows from. Okay, now look at this. This was this is a pretty good anatomically correct foot here. Okay, see the coronary band? right here and how the hoof wall should grow like this. Okay, now I'll show you something here. Okay, you gotta remember, you're dealing with two objects, all right? You're dealing with the internal foot, which is a whole foot, and you're dealing with a hoof capsule. All right, now what happens is when the heels are trimmed out, it tends to make the foot rotate. Okay, by rotate, I mean, all right, now you know that this right here, the coffin bone, you have the coffin bone right here, which is P3, the distal phalanx, as they call it, right in here. Then you have P2, which is the short pastern bone, which sets into the distal phalanx, okay, so that's a joint, right? Joints rotate, is not that correct? So this foot rotates a certain amount on this joint, just like your foot rotates on your ankle up and down. Doesn't really go from side to side like you can with your ankle, but it goes up and down, see, like this. Okay, but there isn't a lot of motion there. Okay, but that's why they call it coffin bone rotation because this bone is on a joint. Let's see here what I got. Oh, just a minute. Okay, so the coffin bone has a joint right here that goes like this. Okay, and this bone here has a joint that goes like this and it rotates this rotates on that bone okay so when for whatever reason you a lot of times just trimming the heels out of these horses cause the foot to rotate because the the heel is supposed to be supported here see Okay, so, or whatever reason the foot rotates through laminitis of some kind or another, too long toe, mechanical, whatever. Reason it is. Okay, now usually the foot, let's see, fits in the capsule like this. See there? Everything's kosher. Okay, it's all growing the right direction. The hoof capsule and the inner foot are um, sharing weight-bearing equilibrium together. Okay, 
when the foot rotates. Now, uh, there are different degrees of rotation. Let's say first it just rotates a little bit, three degrees. Okay, that's now this. Just a second, I gotta fix something real quick here. Okay, when the foot rotates, we're gonna get a three degree rotation here. This is what you have. Okay, now what happens is the toe here is gonna go down and back just a little and the but the heel here is going to push up okay but the capsule stays in place the cap the doesn't stay in place on the foot but the foot is loosened within the same capsule okay and it rotates just a little bit the toe up here rotates down and back, and the heel is pulled up and forward. See, rotation, rotation. Okay, so the horse might recover a little bit, but uh, from that, you know, not too much. But then let's say whatever causes it to rotate happens again. All right, well, then we're going to take a seven degree rotation there we go foot rotated again just a little more you see that now what happens here is again the heel is coming up the inner heel is coming up and this toe is going down and back okay now what's happening is you're getting more torque on this toe right here as this is happening see and what happens too is um, people come in and they keep taking the heel more and more and more heel off I should have been taking the heel off to show you kind of what's happening so the person will come in here and they're gonna take more heel off okay Okay, now if I want to do this right, I'd, I'd keep taking it into this other program and rotating it down and showing you um, how eventually what happens is, see this periopal here? As this foot is rotating up, this periopal is stretching up, and the whole heel area here is getting less and less. Okay, and here's another thing that's happening. As you're doing this, now originally... See, the weight-bearing equilibrium is all changing. Originally, you have horn tubules that are a certain degree. Okay? But as the foot is rotating and, or as, and as people are cutting down the heel, all of these that were like this on this foot, and the foot, you know, was in the original placement, are going forward like this. See? The, the weight bearing is changing. While the horn tubules on the external capsule are moving up like this because you're taking more heel down and as the foot rotates a lot of times. Okay? The original weight bearing should be like this between the capsule and the foot. But what you have now is you have the capsule pulling this way on it. All the weight bearing equilibrium between the inner foot and that hoof capsule that grows from it is changing as this foot rotates. Okay, now let's, let's rotate the foot a little more and see what happens. Um, let's see. Let's go... Yeah, oops. Let's go 10 degrees. See, I have all these little feet I've rotated just to show you. Okay, there we go. Foot. Now look at what's happening to the back of the foot there. Now, now see, this foot is about 10 degrees right there. Okay, you see? 
there's some more. Now again, as this foot is rotating back like this, and the heel is coming up like this, people are trimming out the heel more and more, and the periopal is stretching, and you wind up with no heel and just stretch periopal. Okay, it gets worse than this. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Let me redo that. Make sure it's in the right spot. Okay, now <clears throat> this foot is rotating like this. All right, and um, the capsule is going this way, this way, as the foot is going that way. They're pulling apart, in other words. Okay, let's try. Okay, so somebody, every time this happens, somebody comes in here, <clears throat> not, you know, on all horses, but on a lot of them. See how the heels were down here? Look. Originally, the heel was like that. See there? Now, what's happening here, too, notice how the toe is coming down towards lower in the capsule here. But every time people will come in, okay, and they'll take down the heel. Take down the heel. Take down the heel. <clears throat> okay, and the toe is wanting to shoot forward because of the angle of the horn, horn tubules, how they're changing. Horn tubules are wanting to go in this way, but the lamina that they're supposed to be lined up with are going this way. The back of the foot is rising. The toe of the foot is coming back. It's all rotating on this joint here. That's what's going on with this this pony here. Meanwhile, there's tremendous, tremendous amount of pressure on the toe here, pushing up. That's why you have this here. See, where this toe is pushed up and there's no growth here in the wall because it's just jammed all this together here. And um, hoof wall is real funny. Um, coriums are real funny when they get really smashed. And congested, they don't want to grow whatever they grow, whether it's frog or sole or wall or whatever. So this wall in the toe is not wanting to grow. You know, because look at how the hoof capsule is like this on the foot. It's, you know, the horn tubules go like this. Okay, let's do, <clears throat> let's do 12 degrees. Okay, here we go. See, this is exactly what's happening to this pony and why it doesn't want to set its uh, foot down in the back because it's rotated on the joint here and, and the way the hoof capsule is, it's working against it to pry it off one way while the foot is being pulled back the other way. Okay, we'll do it again. There. Okay, so that would be 20 degrees, almost straight up and down, which this, this pony just might have about 20 degrees. I don't know if that's the way vets do degrees. I don't know if they do their degrees from here to here. You know, all I'm saying is I put it into uh, this program here. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. Where I can rotate stuff. I'll show you. Um, like if I want to rotate this foot right here. Um, okay. Originally the capsule. Okay. Now here's the thing. Originally... On the original foot, the capsule growing from the coronary band is growing like this, right? But by the time, because of the foot rotating and stuff, okay, right here, 
the capsule, okay, the the coronary bound is so tilted, the wall still wants to grow down this way, okay, but you've still got the toe of the capsule here, and so see, it's pressing all this together here. Okay, let's see here. See, just gonna mess with this here a little bit. So if you're trying to put that so that the foot is level again, it's just not gonna work. <laughs> it's just not gonna work till you till you straighten out that dorsal wall and get this. Don't look right, but anyway. It's not going to work uh, until you get the heels growing correctly and get rid of this mess in the dorsal wall so that the foot can grow. Um, let's see here. Where am I? Huh. Okay. So there I am. That's what's happened to this pony, you know. But what's happened here is now this wall's trying to grow this way, but the old capsule was pushing this way, and so that has pushed that all together there. See? See there? How it's going? Like that. Now, how to fix that? Good question. You know, with great difficulty once that thing is rotated like that. But what I do see good here is that even though the coronary band is compressed, that it's not dislocated. Okay, but you're going to have to come, somebody's going to have to come in here and do a resection on this wall and get rid of this wall. And this pony is going to have to have some shoes and stuff for support. Um, while this wall is growing back in. So, okay, so there we go. Now you want to see that rotation again? It's like this. See there? See, with every, every rotation, you got a little rung in the ladder here. That's why you see these ponies, too. A lot of times when they're like this, they'll put their legs way out in front of them and try and stretch because they're trying to stretch this back around. But why is this like this? Why is it staying like this? Because of this part of the wall here. See how that is just smashed down and is holding it in place? You know? Okay. Okay, so again, look at the wall here. See, just dead, dead growth. See, that's all going to have to be removed and the foot supported. I don't see any way, you know, without really supporting the heel and uh, doing a, 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 what you call a resection, taking out this dead hoof wall here, that you're going to be able to fix this foot because that's just going to keep it from growing the way it's supposed to. See there? Again, see how it's rotated? How the foot inside is rotated up like that? And this is all just holding everything right into place there. Like the foot's a prisoner. Okay, now remember, as the foot rotates, the periopal stretches, right? And people come and cut the heels out. This is what has happened here. Okay, so, you know, that's about all I can I can do. Look how the horse does not want to stand.
cannot put its foot down. Not really. Yeah, I imagine she, you know, I just don't know what to tell you. I know that this pony needs the heels regrown and the dorsal wall resected and needs some good support of little shoes while all this is going on. Okay, that's all I have to say. Again, P3, okay, the pedal bone, okay, uh, is the coffin bone. P2 is the short pastern bone, and P1 is the long pastern bone. So, one, uh, three, two, one. Okay. I had to get that right in my head.